A very warm welcome to the learning home. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss how to set line and paragraph spacing in Microsoft Word. And before I start the discussion, I'd like to bring to your notice that I'm using Microsoft 365, which is the latest version as of now. And if you're using different version of Microsoft Office, you may see a little difference in appearance. Here you will see a three paragraph. First paragraph is here, second paragraph is this one, and this is the third paragraph. And here, the, all you will see the line is single spaced and there is no space between the paragraphs. So here we are going to play around and trying to show that how we can create a space bit, between the lines and between the paragraphs. So let's start with the line spacing. So what here I'm going to do, I'm going to select this and I will go to the home tab and paragraph group and you will see the option here which calls line and paragraph spacing and we can click over there and choose what is our preferred line spacing between the lines so here imagine i'm going to choose two 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 times and you will see there is a line spacing of two times two lines between the lines so this is one way of doing things if you don't like this you can go back to the here again and you can choose what is your preferred line spacing. So here we have changed to 1.15. Second thing is that how we can create a spacing between the paragraphs. So here what I'm going to do, I'm going to select the, both the paragraphs and go to the same place. And I can add, add a space after the paragraph. So here you will see that there is a space is created here and here which is a basically creating a space after the paragraph here also i can create a space after the paragraph by selecting this select it and add a space after the paragraph so you will see a space is created over there this all same thing we can do with the search box also if search box is not activated in your uh, microsoft word you can activate by pressing alt plus q at the moment in my case this is activated so i'm just going to press line spacing and you will see the same option appeared over there and if you want to change to some other values let's say 1.5 and you will see the line spacing changed from 1.15 to 1.5 the third option to achieve the same thing is through the paragraph dialog box select all the paragraphs and go to the small icon here and you will see an option the spacing and the first option is the before paragraph we have zero spacing so imagine if you want a more space before the paragraph like from here we want more space and here we want more space and here we want more space then we can we have to increase the size and when we are increasing the size you can see the difference there is a preview here there is a space is getting created just press it you will see a space has created before the paragraph similarly if you want the space after the paragraph also just increase it as per your convenience and you will see a preview option here press ok and you will see the space after the paragraph is also created so that is all about the space before and after the paragraph now we will discuss about the line spacing the last time we have set 1.5 times which is here if you want to make it double you can choose from there if you want to make it multiple or in the like imagine 2.5 then we have we have to choose multiple option and press what is our preference we can also choose the spacing in terms of font size and here imagine if you want to change to 12 points that the font size if you want to make it uh, 16 points then select 16 points and click ok and you will see the spacing has changed but the spacing between the paragraph remains same which is still like this so this is the way we can uh, make changes to suit our preference in terms of line and paragraph spacing so with this, I will conclude the video and I hope it has given you a little idea about the line 
and paragraph spacing in Microsoft Word. How you have found the video, please do write in the comment section. And if you have liked it, please do like and share. For more videos, please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will be notified about the coming videos. With this, I will say goodbye and see you soon.